This perfume is like a miniature sea world within a cocktail glass. Welcome to Smellomania and to this unusual review of Memo Paris newest release called Corfu. They call this fragrance a sunny musk and I couldn't agree more. Let me take you on an olfactory journey because this is quite an unusual perfume review channel where I actually attempt to draw what I'm smelling. Corfu was released a few months ago in the middle of the summer and indeed it is most suitable for the hot season and just a perfect neutral choice all year round. Now let's get to the notes. I wouldn't be lying if I said that I haven't seen such a long list in a while. We have bergamot, mandarin, cassis, this is the leaves and buds of blackcurrants, grapefruit, lemon, orange. Why does it feel like I'm naming all the citruses in the world? <laughs> Basil, rose oil, Spike, I'm assuming that it's a sort of a palm tree. Jasmine, peach, raspberry, geranium, club. Are you still with me? <laughs> Oris, Oris root or iris as a flower. This note gives some powdery aspects to the perfume. Sandalwood, cedarwood, amber, moss. And patchouli Sulawesi. Sulawesi is an island in Indonesia where they source the patchouli from. Can you imagine such a mix of notes? What would all of them combined smell like? Oh, and of course I forgot a few. And bread seeds and tonka bean. Now let's put those aside so that they wouldn't distract us from the main players. The three main notes, which are the key players in this perfume. Rhubarb, Lily of the Valley and Musk. Seeing such an abundance of notes, I can only think of all the colors of the rainbow. If used correctly, the result is breathtaking. But if you pile the shades one over another, you get the muddy nothingness. The smell of everything yet nothing at the same time. I've never seen so many okay faces on Fragrantica. <laughs> Just okay, is it though? Let's dig deeper. Corfu is fresh, fruity, airy, light, but quite common and unoriginal. It's simple and just okay. <laughs> However, for someone, it could be a dream perfume. The main drawback is the poor longevity when applied on skin, but when it gets on your clothes, it lasts for days. I kept debating with myself about what I could draw for the smell. Corfu felt slightly magical to me. Countless notes of the most delicious things and if you truly concentrate, you can smell all of them. It's a bit like that love potion from Harry Potter, which Hermione described. It's rumored to smell differently to each person according to what attracts them. For example, I smell freshly mown grass and the parchment and spearmint toothpaste. Corfu is just like that. You want to smell raspberries? <laughs> there you go. Peaches, rhubarbs, lily of the valley. Poof, magic. <laughs> is this what a bit less powerful potion smells like? A magical concoction where people smell whatever they want, but it's just okay. And the best part is that they don't lose their sanity. <laughs> I then went ahead and sketched a cocktail glass with various layers of peculiar tastes, where each drinker gets a different punch. Corfu was a huge love for me at some days and just okay on the others. It's a magnificent unisex creation, which leans slightly more to the feminine side due to its soft character and subtle sweetness. I would buy five bottles of it and keep it in every room and would use it to cheer myself up if it wasn't so expensive for what it is. It's a soft, 
fruity musky scent that would work wonderfully as a room fragrance or body mist. The longevity on skin is very short. I would actually recommend spraying it on your clothes if you'd like to get some more performance. However, I could imagine people falling in love with this fragrance and sticking to it for years because no other is the same. So I drew a Mediterranean sea inspired cocktail, sunny blue and summery, with three individual straws representing unique people who might experience this differently. One may sip from the bottom and get a big bunch of musk, the other may just float somewhere in the middle with never-ending rhubarbs. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the other one the next week. Bye!